What's up you guys? How are you? Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to share more of my personal favorites that I have come across in my health, fitness, personal development journey. I did a video similar to this in April. This is what my thumbnail looks like up here at the very top. And in that video, I talked about two ways I like to reduce my stress and my anxiety levels. I talked about healthy food, and then I did also mention some money mindset in there. So in today's video, I wanna talk more about money mindset, more about healthy food that I love, of course, and then I do also wanna share a more natural, less toxic personal care item with you. Let's go ahead and get started. I wanna begin by talking about a podcast that completely transformed my life, you guys. It is one of my top podcasts that I recommend to anyone and it's completely free. This podcast opened up my eyes to health, nutrition, fitness, and overall becoming the best version of myself. And that podcast is called The Model Health Show by Sean Stevenson. I don't know how it is that I came across this podcast, but I am forever grateful that I did because in this podcast, it gave me all the tools, all the resources, and all the knowledge in order for me to change my life and be able to lose 35 pounds effortlessly. This podcast was the beginning of me living the healthy lifestyle that I do now. If you follow me on my Instagram or if you've watched any of my other previous videos here on my channel, you'll know that counting my macros, counting my calories, working out six times a week, and basically doing everything the way that I used to do it didn't work out so well for me and so now i'm just really passionate about sharing my journey because i know that there's someone out there perhaps it's you and you feel like you've tried a million things and you still can't reach your health and fitness goals and i know you're sick and tired of feeling sick and tired but if i can share my journey it can possibly change and transform your life if you want it to the lifestyle that i live now i no longer count my calories or my macros I work out a lot less than what I used to and overall I take more of a holistic approach to things. Through my personal experience I've just come to learn that really healing things such as my gut health, managing my stress levels and paying attention to the ingredient label as opposed to looking at the macros and looking at the calories only has changed my life. I'm getting so excited you guys. I feel like I'm getting goosebumps. Going back to the podcast, Sean just has a way of explaining things in such a simple and easy to understand way. He is wicked smart and he also has all the evidence to back up whatever it is that he is talking about for that podcast. The other thing I just want to mention is that he does have a book that I've read in the past. Highly recommend this book as well. It is called Sleep Smarter. If any of you are struggling with your sleep, health first of all, goes much deeper than working out and eating properly. It all goes back to sleep as well. That is how you are able to recover. So he talks about 21 essential strategies to sleep your way to a better body, better health, and bigger success. Let me just read a little bit of what the introduction says. It says, the consequences of sleep deprivation aren't pretty either. Try immune system failure, diabetes, cancer, obesity, depression, and memory loss, just to name a few. Just one night of sleep deprivation can make you as insulin resistant as a person with type 2 diabetes. This translates directly to aging faster, decreased libido, and storing more body fat than you want to. I can leave this book down below if you do want to check it out, but along with the podcast, I highly recommend you reading this book. Moving on to money mindset, for those of you that aren't familiar with this term, money mindset is what you decide to do with your money, how you think about your money, how you feel about it, and how you even talk about money. All of these make up your mindset around money. If you think about it, money is just paper. It's literally just paper, you guys. It's the emotions that we put behind it that really make up our money mindset. Like I said in my last favorites video, the one from April, I talked about a podcast that really helped me change the way that I view money. So please be sure to watch that favorites video. I'll leave it linked down below. Watch it after this one, of course. But I talked about a podcast in that one. I don't have a podcast to share with you in this video, but I do have a book 
that I just recently finished up and I really, really enjoyed. This is what it's called. I don't think I'm allowed to cuss on YouTube, but you can clearly read the title. It's from Jen Sincero. The reason why I like this book is because inside of every chapter, at the end of every chapter, she gives you actionable things that you can do in order to improve your money mindset. So she gives you a suggested money mantra or a saying that you can write down or say out loud or think. And this is one of my favorites. It says, I love money because it gives me freedom and options. And that's how I love living my life with a whole lot of freedom and options. Aside from the mantra, she gives you some questions to answer or just points for you to think about when it comes to money. And then the last thing she has is a fill in the blank where you write down a reason why you're grateful for money. Now, I know some of you are probably like, Cindy's a little crazy right now. She has no idea what she's talking about. I wanna share with you some commonly held beliefs that could be making up your money mindset just so that you can kind of start to understand what it is that I'm talking about. These are some of the ones that are in the book. Never go into debt. Save your money for a rainy day. You have to work hard to make money. You can't make money doing whatever you love to do. It's not polite to talk about money. Money doesn't grow on trees. You must go to a good college to make money. And who has that kind of money? These all probably sound very familiar to you. And I do want to share some experiences that I have come across because of me working on my money mindset. I like to take walks, okay? Every now and again, I will go outside, take a walk. No one else is near where it is that I'm taking a walk at. And I will find pennies, nickels, dimes, you know, loose change on the ground. I get happy and I pick that up. Most people, if they see a penny or loose change on the ground, they see it as almost worthless. Why does a penny even matter, right? I am that person who's going to pick up that penny, get really happy about it, and money respects me because I respect it. So it shows up in many different ways in my life. Other ways that it has shown up is through random discounts or coupons. I will have an order be put in and I'll get an email notification saying, hey Cindy, your order has been delayed. Can we reimburse you for the shipping? What? Yeah, reimburse me for the shipping. That's fine. <laughs> and then my most recent experience, uh, I talked about this one on my Instagram, but I got a free meal, you guys. So I went to the gym. I had to cut that workout short because I started to get really hungry and I didn't want my blood sugar levels to drop any lower than, than, than what they were already dropping to. So my gym has this paleo, dairy-free, gluten-free shop set up. Decided to pick something up and I was talking to the owner as I was checking out and she said, have you tried any of our meals before? Because they have like a meal prep company. I hadn't tried any of our meals. And she said, pick a meal out. It's free. Just let me know how it is that you like it and what you think about it. What? And it was a healthy meal and it was really, really good. So all of these are just experiences that I have come across because of me working on my money mindset. The other thing that I do now and I try my hardest but I don't say the word expensive. I really try to eliminate that word from my vocabulary because again, the vocabulary and the way that you talk about money really can make a huge impact. The next favorite is going to be a more natural, less toxic personal care item. This is by far my favorite deodorant that actually works, you guys. It is from the brand Primally Pure. I discovered them on Instagram a while back when I was making the switch from a conventional to a more natural deodorant, especially after learning all about the toxic ingredients that are in our deodorant today. I did a deeper dive into the same exact topic a couple months back here on my channel. This is what my thumbnail looks like if you do wanna check that video out too. In that video, I talked about my armpit detox as well as a deeper dive into the ingredients that are in our deodorant today. The reason why I like Primally Pure, and this is their blue tansy scent. This is what it looks like. I have tried their lavender scent as well. But the reason why I like them is because not only does it work for me, but it actually doesn't have the ingredient fragrance. 
in the ingredient label. When you're making the switch from a conventional to a more natural item, sometimes the more natural item will have this ingredient that is called fragrance. This is a very broad term and I have no idea what exactly it means. I'm not sure if any of you know. Federal law doesn't require companies to disclose the chemicals that are in that ingredient. So if you're having any sort of reaction to your personal care items, it could be the fragrance and whatever chemicals that company decided to put into that ingredient. So I do look forward to trying out more of their scents. I've only tried two of their scents so far. It just took me a very long time to find something that I actually loved and worked for me. I have tried men's deodorants. Yes, men's. I've tried women's deodorants, obviously, and none of those worked for me. I would just end up with rashes and a lot of irritation on my armpits. And at the end of the day, I would just end up with even smellier armpits. All right, fam, on to the healthy food portion of today's video. I'm not quite sure if you're ready for this. I don't think you're ready for this, <laughs> especially the first item that I have to share with you guys. So I'm not sure if you know this, but July is National Ice Cream Month, which gives me more of a reason to talk about ice cream. Plus I have a healthy ice cream to share with you guys. And yes, ice cream is considered a food in my mind. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if ice cream is, you know, a food in your eyes as well. At the very beginning of this year, I went on an elimination diet. I worked with a nutritional therapy practitioner because I was having a lot of digestive issues. I just needed a lot of help with my gut health. And so during this time, I had to eliminate dairy, which meant that I would no longer be able to have ice cream for this period. And that really sucked because I love ice cream, but I discovered this brand on Instagram and it's fairly new, so I'm not sure how many of you guys know about it. This, my friends, is called Fronin Nice Cream. And it has five or less ingredients. You guys know how much it is that I care about the ingredient label. So they have different flavors. This is their chocolate. They have a strawberry, a banana coconut, and then the last flavor that I have tried is their cinnamon. So out of all the flavors that I have tried, the top two favorites that I have include the strawberry, and then my absolute favorite is the chocolate. So it's made of five ingredients, including banana, water, coconut cream, honey, and cocoa powder. That's it. So it's free from dairy, GMOs, refined sugar, gluten, gums, sugar alcohols, and soy. If you watched any of my bloating videos, you'll know that I mentioned added gums and sugar alcohols possibly causing some digestive issues for some people. And so I'm really happy that I found this brand and it doesn't have those ingredients in there. I recently made a new order. All of these are empty or else I would show you what they look like inside. But I just made a more recent order with them because I wanted to stock up, especially on the chocolate flavor, and then they do have a new flavor called Madagascar Vanilla that I definitely want to get my hands on and try. Another favorite food that I have is pickles. I know, super random, <laughs> but since the weather is starting to get nice out, you know, we all start grilling outside, making hot dogs, hamburgers, sandwiches, and we need a pickle on the side whenever it is that I have this, at least. I always like to have a pickle on the side. So the pickles that I'm about to show you, they're not your regular pickles. <laughs> they are Grillo's pickles. I promise that if you try these out, you're gonna start wondering why on earth you've been eating all the other pickles that you've been eating for the past you know, couple years of your life. I really like Grillo's because again, the ingredient label is so much cleaner compared to other labels that I have seen on pickles out there. This also doesn't have artificial colors in it like yellow number five. If you pay attention to the ingredient label on the pickles that you see at the grocery store, you will see that sometimes it has yellow number five in it. And that's where you kind of got to start asking questions. Why are we adding all these things onto our food? And what could it possibly be doing to our health? So do yourself a favor and get yourself some 
better pickles. Okay, continuing on with more food goodness. I do have a couple more items for you guys in today's video. This brand, I haven't been able to talk much about it here on YouTube just because I haven't been on YouTube long enough, but on Instagram, I talk about it all the time. I feel like I sound like a broken record. I've tried pretty much all of their items. So the brand is called Siete Foods. This is their cassava flour tortillas. In one of my last what I eat in a day type videos, I made bacon and egg breakfast tacos with these. They came out so good, you guys. And then the most recent item that I have tried from their line is their sprouted bean dip. Now I do wanna show you more of the items that the brand carries. So I went to my grocery store and filmed this next clip to show you a lot of their other goodies that they have. Okay, I'll show you their tortillas first. They have a cassava flour, cashew flour, and an almond flour. I have not tried the almond flour or the cashew flour, so I can't say whether those are good or not. This is just the one that I've always tried and it's my go-to. For their dips and queso, they have their newest addition, which is the sprouted bean dip. Anytime you see something that says the word sprouted, it means that it's going to be easier on your digestive system. I really enjoyed this one. They have the cashew queso and mild nacho. Love using this for nachos. And then they also have a cashew queso and spicy blanco. I've tried all of these and I highly recommend each one. Sauces, they have jalapeno, chipotle, habanero and traditional out of all of these I don't think I've tried the habanero I can't really remember but the traditional is my go-to I drizzle this on my tacos and then my nachos as well and finally my obsession chips they have a fuego a ranch nacho sal y limon ones with no salt lime and then they're just regular sea salt I really like the regular sea salt and then the one that is also my favorite is the Fuego. So the reason why I love this brand so much is because not only do they have awesome ingredients, but they're also dairy, gluten, grain, and soy free. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. I'll also be leaving a lot of videos in order for you to change your life down below in the description as well as on here on at the side. Take care, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye guys.